What's going on everybody, Kenny Dubs here with a, another Mega Man X Dive weekly update video. So today, uh, you might notice something a little bit different here from the music and the background. We're actually getting a rerun of the Monster Hunter 3 collaboration. So uh, let's take a look around and see um, if anything else relevant is happening this week on the global version of X Dive. Notice board is broken as usual nice 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 uh we have the drop event like we had last time for the Kamura ticket twos so you can get 49 of these per day for a period of two weeks and what i presume uh i don't know if we can use these for the banner or if there'll be anything from the store so let's go check the banners first okay so there is a pickup banner for both gore eco and shigaru x they both got their dna as i kind of expected because i reran this now while we did not get this in the taiwan version because we got the end of service announcement um i assume that they would have rerun this event again because the it gave both shigaru x and gore eco the dna now the downside is their dna's are go away <laughs> their dna's are I think, if I remember correctly, they're the same, or at least very, very similar. Uh, we do have a ticket here, so that probably means that tonight during the stream, we will get access to uh, a free ticket for this. And just checking on this here, um, you can pity these two, and I think it's just these two. Like, it, we're not going to see the other uh, Monster Hunter units on this, right? Yeah, we're not. Um, but... We do see them at the Die Festival race this time, which is good because I thought it was hecking stupid that last time they gave us regular rates for Shigaru Armor X. Um, with the logic of we're trying to be consistent with ourselves and then followed up by giving Gore Eco Die Festival rates because they increased the rates of Die Festival rates for the other Monster Hunter units, but didn't for Shigaru X for whatever reason. Don't know why, but it, that's what happened um other than that over here we have the monster hunter rise a event here um oh it actually kept the oh that's interesting it actually kept the the ratings from last time huh that's very, very wait did this one do that this one didn't do it as you can see i didn't do this event because i just have not felt like playing this game like in any capacity um for quite a few months now to be honest with you uh but the fact that this kept our rank their our evaluations is actually really good because that means you could just come in here and just mop the rewards uh so free uh, ems and stuff as per usual uh try to get up to phase five because uh, once you get to phase five uh that's where the ems stop there Checking out the shop. Here's where we'll be using the Kimura tickets. Um, so you can pick up the cards again if you miss out on any of these. Uh, I would suggest getting a few copies of the Hino and Minoto card. Because these cards are quite nice to have copies of. Uh, if it will load. Okay, if we have Kimura Maiden. Additional damage and damage mitigation amplification versus bosses. And um, once you drop below 50%, you can recover 5% HP every 6 seconds. The second effect isn't all that great. Um, but you know, it, it'll be helpful. Uh, the downside with this is though, you can't stack the bunny dongle with itself, but you can stack, um, Kimura Maiden with a K Kimura Maiden 2 and Kimura Maiden 1. Uh, other than that, um, you can pick up the other cards if you want, but I think that the Hino or Minoto are the relevant ones. Fugin isn't bad. There's double, uh, double up ability for melee weapons, zero distance boost. Taking a look at the shop here, as per usual, don't forget to pick up your free daily pack there. Um, again, as usual, I wouldn't recommend buying any of these here, realistically. Um, you can get your daily Monster Hunter rerun if you choose, but again, I don't recommend getting this. Though 1,500 DNA points, or 15,000 DNA points is pretty enticing, um, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to the research lab, just like the previous two Monster Hunter events. Be sure to come over here to the research event tab. If you are missing anything here, um, you can go ahead and make it. I don't believe the Magdamala stuff is... Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. This is really, really nice right here. Glad I showed this. So, 
Here, as you can see, uh, what you can do is exchange the exchange for three of the tickets. So we get three free pulls on the Shigaru armor on the Shigaru Ingo or Eco X banner. So that's actually really really nice. And it's also you can see, um, I already have materials for this. That's because the last times uh, these event these items stay in your inventory, so you don't have to worry about them uh going away uh and if you have some materials that you don't need you can um exchange them for the uh for the scraps by selling them um i need the wings the the hard horns okay so i don't think i need the cards either Just gonna come over and show this because a lot of people are not aware of this and for whatever reason think these items go away from your inventory after the event's over uh no obviously as you can see i still have everything here from the previous monster Hunter events um looking at this this is the magnum all sigma plate looking at this that's the camellios chameleon gem looking at this purple magna orb and just like i was saying before i think uh i don't think i think i don't need this right so if i go sell this right i go sell you see here i'm selling 12 of these and i get 360 uh of the materials to go ahead and 360 scraps i forgot what it's called no oh wait <laughs> 360 scraps so then um i could sell the materials that i don't need and go ahead and get more scraps and then turn the scraps into the materials that i want for the tickets so with that said we might not actually get tickets from the stream because we get three here i do also i want to point out i think yeah you can get scrap from from phase five onwards so it might be worth grinding out some of this um if you can't get the materials you need though i want to can you get it from the first floor no you cannot all right well luckily it kept your my um get my clear from last time so instead of doing it again uh i do one of these and i should be able to clear out quite a chunk of oh I, I even got a gem off that uh quite a chunk of the rewards as well and then since there's a, a prize box here you just come over here do the lottery once you have your i want you have your tickets it's taking a while here. I don't know why this is taking so long right now. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, but as you can see here, oh, they, that's going a little bit faster that time. I guess it's because it was so many. And then you move on to the next one once you clear out that reward. Now, um, I'm going to have to be doing this quite a bit because I don't really feel like running the event. However, with that said, the event's up for two weeks. So um, as long as I'm dropping my 15 EP at least once a day, um, on skips i will probably be okay and finally since gore eco got her dna bones that she got her armor let's take a look at them but like i said i'm pretty sure their dna are the same maybe i think their their unique recommend dna is different but let's take a quick look uh the unique recommend dna of gore eco is actually auto repair which i don't remember that being auto repair the taiwan version um, but I could just not for, not remember it. So for the fixed DNA, uh, dragon armor protection, boost damage taken by 15%. Eh, it's okay. Uh, next we have both there's the instant going to hit target and defense press status increase damage by 20%. Not bad, but it's going to be something a little bit better. And then we have Frenzify. Frenzify? Okay. The prep time for Frenzy status is reduced by 10%. Again, it's just kind of like, eh, okay. Coming over here to Shigaru Armor X, and real quick, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the random, um, unique random DNA, uh, total control, when you cause a target, they become out of control, hit targets out of control, you'll cover 12%, um, HP equals 12% of your attack, okay, not bad, uh, again, it is another recovery skill, but, you know, it's not bad, um, Dragon Armor Protection is taking my 15%, but there's the Instinct, hit a target, uh, Defense Crush, increased damage by 20%, and pure white dragon, this one's called, uh, increased natural recovery speed of frenzy slot by 10%. Um, it is kind of lame that these uh, both have such similar DNAs. But from a from like a standpoint of like Monster Hunter kind of makes sense because, spoiler alert, Gorumagala is a juvenile form of Shigaru Magala. 
Um, I know it's a big spoiler, sorry, uh, but Monster Hunter um, 4 uh, has been out for quite a while, so I figured I might as well just rip the bandit off and let y'all know. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it, it does make sense, at least from that perspective, and maybe that's why they went for it, or maybe they just ran out of ideas, because like I said, uh, when we got the DNA in Taiwan verse, and the game was already on its way out. So I don't know if they actually put thought into it, or if they were just like, we don't feel like thinking of anything else, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is a very long patch update video. I apologize about that. Uh, but there were quite a few things that I wanted to make sure that I spoke about here. Um, and if I sounded really tired, it's because I am. I actually stayed up till reset today to record this. And when usually I go to bed two hours before reset. So yeah, now it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm going to go take myself to bed after I render and record this video. I render and upload this video. Hopefully, uh, if anyone's doing any pulls today, your pulls go well. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.